So we have uh, the first step in uh, building the speedster is to cut out the coro parts. We we'll use a straight edge to uh, cut along the lines which are laser cut. Use several passes to make sure uh, the cuts go through the other side. You will also notice the, the skids are oriented in uh, two different directions. So these two skids uh, are with fruits perpendicular to the skid and these two skids are with the fruits parallel. So when we are gluing the skids together we will uh, mix one of each to glue them. So this gives the maximum amount of strength uh, to the skids. First winglet is out. Uh, now we we'll take this one out also. And it also helps if you uh, can cut from the other side. And the second winglet is out. And now, now we'll cut the skids and uh, we'll get back uh, in a couple of minutes. So uh, we have cut out the wing beds to make a left bottom, uh, right bottom. The left top and the right tops are kept separately. And what we will do is uh, we will place the left wing over the left wing bottom part and the right wing over the right wing bottom part. So whenever we are going to do the lamination or sanding or when whatever, we will put the wings into their beds and then do the uh, processes so that the wings are not damaged and this pro provides to be the perfect fit uh, and uh, avoids any kind of damage to the wing. Uh, so the first step we are going to do now is uh, we sand, gently sand the wing panels so that the foam dust is removed uh, from the surface. The sanding has to be very light and even. Just the outer surface has to be removed. You do not want to change any uh, structure. You do not want to change the shape of the ring at any cost. So very gently uh, do this. Likewise for the left ring. You know when the sanding is done, is the foam surface feels smooth. Uh, to do the other side, uh, we'll put the, uh, we'll remove the top, we'll remove the bottom wing pan, wing beds, and we will put the top wing beds here. So the left top on this side, right top on this side. Again, as I said putting the wings into their beds saves a lot of damage. Thank 
Okay. Be very careful of the trailing edge because the trailing edge is so thin it is very easy to break it off. Once it is laminated you will see the whole thing will become rock solid. Okay, so now we will go back to the bottom panel. We will remove the top panel and this holes on the bottom part of the side. We'll clean uh, clean off the dust with some cloth. So this is all to do make sure the lamination and the vector adhere well to the surface. So okay, uh, now we have all this uh, sanded and cleaned up. Uh, now we are going to uh, put the decals in place. So the supplied decal sheet. Uh, We'll cut, uh, we'll cut the supplied decal sheet. We have already got some of the decals pre-cut here, uh, but the idea is that we'll, we are going to have this strip here cut out, and there would this strip would go here on the on the left side, and these bars would go in the center. So let's let's cut the decals out, and uh, we'll uh, get back uh, in a minute, and then uh, uh, glue these all together. So uh, we are going to make the left panel now and the whole process will be repeated for the right wing panel later on. So the decals are to be installed like this and we are going to install the decals before we laminate. So the decals would be would go inside the lamination and will be permanently secured. So uh, these three bars uh, in the decal sheet which is supplied you may have to cut them separately and put them uh, because of lack of space and we changed a few things in the last revision. But overall the design is uh, similar. Next uh, we will for the speedster logo. that we will put on the other way. Okay, so this is the decals after it is applied uh, on the left panel. Now we will uh, 
move ahead, go ahead and uh, start laminating. So after applying the decals, uh, we will uh, laminate the wing. Uh, to laminate the wing, uh, we uh, we have to be very careful because the supplied lamination. There are two sheets which are supplied, and they are adequate to uh, uh, to laminate both the wing panels. But uh, you have to make sure you do it correctly so that the, the sheets are not wasted and you do not run short. So uh, lay the lamination sheet the longer side like this as we are showing you and align the wing tip so that it is near the edge and uh, the, the cord should be parallel to the uh, sheet, uh, sheet side and then we lay a straight edge just inside the leading edge and we will remove the wing panel and we will cut it out. So this makes uh, the top part of the the top part of the uh, lamination and the bottom part we will uh, do in a minute from the other sheet. So the, the remaining part will make the top part of the other side of the wing. So we will we'll put that here and first let's glue this out. Again uh, we will use the wing bed and make sure the surface is clean and We will start with the tip. We will leave a little uh, excess material hanging over the tip. As we go, there is some static. Wait, just hold it. You hold this part. Excess hand. Now uh, we will glue it. Uh, align the tip to the trailing edge one second uh, and no, no, no. angle it out, angle out, angle out, angle more. out some excess material on the sides and gently trim this out actually before we trim out we will, we will put the other side also we will do a rough trim out we will do a rough trim out a little excess of the training edge Now we'll uh, cut the other sheet. Yeah, we'll cut the other sheet uh, with the other panel. Uh, give me the right wing panel. So we have the top part. Okay, again aligning the tip. Pull here. Okay. 
Okay, so we have cut out the other wind panel uh, so that we can use the material, remaining material from that for our panel which we laminated, which, which we just laminated. And here is the residual material. So this is going to overlap to the other side. We leave some extra on the uh, on the leading edge, which will go and wrap the other side and there will be some part left on this part and what we will do is that this excess material here we'll, we will cut this out and this will be applied on the remaining side so what we will do is that this will go till here and we will do a rough cut on this the trailing edge would be sealed together and there is a little bit remaining here which we will uh, glue using the piece we cut off earlier and after we glue this we will trim all the excess edges a little bit of overlap of the access to the trailing the idea for this is that the trailing edge should join the top part and the bottom part should join and after that uh, 
uh, we will cut. So this leads to a perfect strong trailing edge. Otherwise, the trailing edge part usually is very weak. But after la laminating it in this procedure, it will be very strong. We had a little mess up with the logo here, but we'll fix it up later on. So now we'll uh, trim it, trim the sides carefully. that there is little bit excess on the trailing edge so the upper and the lower seams seal together and uh, the sort of airfoil is completed and it leaves a sharp edge at the, uh, at the back so uh, I think this is laminated now and we'll uh, move ahead and cut out the aileron from this and uh, let's uh, let's check that in a couple of minutes let's do that in a minute we'll just clean up any edges and we'll be back in a minute to cut out the ailerons the specifications for the ailerons will be in the in the manual 